We bought a new house. It's a single owner home in Dallas, built in 1977. It has four bedrooms and two baths. There are so many good things about this house. It has a clean, straightforward layout. It's well insulated. It has two beautiful chandeliers, medallions and detailing on the ceilings. Gorgeous style, a cozy sunken living room with wood paneling and a low maintenance backyard. Given the market right now, we were very lucky to find a house that is perfectly livable. It's in great condition and it's in a wonderful quiet neighborhood. However, it needs to be updated. It has single pane windows that aren't properly sealed, cracked tile and grout in the kitchen, uneven floors, chipped laminate flooring, old bathrooms with gaudy wallpaper, old fixtures and vanities. It has poor air circulation because there aren't enough fans and exhausts. The kitchen hasn't been updated either. The kitchen appliances are old and some of the cabinets have water damage. There are many drywall cracks, loose outlets, damaged wood paneling because of foundation work and some drywall water damage. On the outside, it has cracked brick and mortar and an old loud condensing unit that rattles. This home doesn't have any gutters or downspouts so water puddles up against the foundation when it rains. This has led to stained brick and mold. When we renovated our first house ourselves, we did everything at once. The bathrooms, kitchen, tile work, garage, everything. It was exhausting and chaotic, but so much fun. This time around, however, we're gonna take our time and renovate this house much slower. It's a beautiful, comfortable home. Yeah, it's not updated, but what's the big deal? I grew up in a small apartment in Dubai with secondhand 30-year-old furniture, and it was fine. The luxury of owning a beautiful four-bedroom house is not lost on me. I'm so grateful that we were able to buy this home and I'm grateful to the previous owners for taking such good care of it. The insane pressure to make your home Instagram or Pinterest worthy is absurd. We try to be minimalist. We don't want to go out and spend a ton of money on stuff to impress people. We'd rather build our own furniture and make specific pieces that are valuable to us. Also, lumber is still ridiculously expensive and companies are still facing supply chain issues. I think pacing ourselves with this renovation is the smartest thing to do. We're probably gonna make longer casual vlog style content and upload it to our Car Builds YouTube page, but I'm still gonna be making videos on products and technology on this channel. I've reached out to a few companies and I've set up some collaborations. I'm very excited to share them with you soon. So hit that subscribe button and I hope you enjoy the videos I make during this renovation. See ya.